You know, we all come from different backgrounds and have different experiences, but there are some common things that we've all experienced. Like when we started something new or we went to a new location, maybe maybe it was a new school or a new community. Wouldn't it be great if we had somebody that was greeting us like a welcoming committee and saying, hey, you know what? Welcome. We've been expecting you. Let me show you the ropes. Let me show you where things are. That's, that's fantastic. I love that idea. Well, in the world of SD-WAN, Software Defined Wide Area Network with Cisco, when we have a new router at one of our branch sites that we want to onboard or bring up, we have that same kind of a process. We can plug a device into the network. It can use some DNS and DHCP and find the welcoming committee. They can say, oh, we've been expecting you. Let me show you where everything is. And in the world of software-defined wide area networks with Cisco systems, that welcoming committee has a specific name up in our controller slash management network. And that name of that device, that welcoming committee, that brings on that new edge and says, hey, let me show you around, is called VBON. And here's the play-by-play. -play. Let's imagine we're gonna bring on this new edge device. So we get a, a device from Cisco. It could be software, it could be hardware. We purchase it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the information regarding the edge device that we're gonna bring into our company, it's on a list. So that list, we can sync it with our smart account. So effectively the cloud knows the serial number and the other detailed information about this device that we're about to plug into our SD-WAN network. So we plug it in and if it uses DHCP, this guy will get a DHCP assigned address, a default gateway, a DNS server to use, and by default, he's gonna be looking for the name of some type of an orchestration server. Now, depending on the version of software you have on your edge device, it might be looking for something called ztp.viptela.com. <laughs> That's the actual name of the company that Cisco bought this solution from, or it could be a different name, but in either case, when this guy boots up, he tries to resolve that name to an IP address, and once it does, it then checks in. Think of that like checking in with the, the concierge or the welcoming committee for the SD-WAN network. So when this edge device checks in and says, here I am, here's my serial number, here's my details, based on it being an authorized device for our network, it's gonna redirect it over to our VBond. Now our VBond is a device, it could be running on-prem at our site, it could be running in the cloud, but this is our VBond as part of our SD-WAN network. And now we have a conversation between our edge device and VBond, who also is verifying who this edge device is, and assuming that VBond is expecting this device, and let me show you the, the list, the, the guest list from a VBond perspective of the devices we're expecting. It looks something like this. This is the vManage interface. I've gone under configuration and devices, and I'm looking at our WAN edge list. I've just filtered it a little bit. And one of our entries here is the chassis number for an edge device, and here is a, a token. Now, once a token like, is like a one-time password. So after the device uses that and authenticates, it, that will be replaced with a serial number associated with that device once it's been authenticated. So this list of the devices that we're expecting to check in, the edge devices, this list is known by vBond. It's also known by vManage and also by vSmart. So as this edge device is communicating with vBond, it's going to use DTLS. Think of DTLS like the benefits of uh, like HTTPS, transport layer security, but using a UDP header, which makes it more efficient as far as the three-way handshakes and acknowledgements and so forth. And once he checks in with the welcoming committee, that's VBond, the orchestrator, VBond is going to let this edge device know about, hey, here's the IP address for vManage. And so he'll build a connection there. And VBond is also going to tell this little edge router about the IP address for vSmart and this edge device will build a session there. So I thought to myself, self, you know it'd be really fun if you and I brought up a brand new edge device. So I simply wiped VH20. <laughs> you wiped him from the face of the earth and I, he's still on the approved list from the controller's perspective. And let's take a look at the basic config for VH20 before it's called VH20. We'll boot him up and we'll take a look at the conversations and the control connections that it builds dynamically, first with vBond and then with vManage and eventually with vSmart. So let's take a look at the defaults here. Show run system. So by default, this device, this appliance is going to be looking for a vBond server at ztp.viptela.com. And then that's going to refer him over. If he's, if he's on our list based on his chassis ID, it's going to refer him over to our vBond. And then our vBond will train the edge device about vManage and also about vSmart. So to get this to work, we have to have the root certificate. This can be signing the certs coming in so we can verify those. Also, we need to set the organization name. So let me go ahead and do that as well right here. So to set the organization name, we simply go into configuration mode and it's a system item. So we'll type in system to enter that compartment of configuration and we'll type in organization name and I'm gonna call mine org. Now, a, <laughs> this is a big deal. 
there's a, a really important aspect when you go up to Cisco's site and you build your list, your profile, and add your devices, you want to plan ahead of time and have the right organization name because that organization name is going to be used between your edge devices, whether they're hardware or software, it's going to be used between the edge device and the initial VBON that they connect to. So if you want it to work, you'd want to make sure you get that organization name correct and matching between VBond in the cloud and also your edge device. And based on my list that I'm using in my lab of expected devices, I set up the organization name to be org. So one other thing that we definitely need to do, I'll do a commit to save those changes. Uh, one other thing we need to do is specify our chassis number because this is a software appliance. We need to somehow configure and tell this device, hey, here's your chassis ID and here's your one-time password you can use as part of the onboarding. So to do that, without going into configuration mode, we simply type in request, v edge cloud, activate, and press enter. Now you could also put the chassis ID and the one-time password on one long line, but I'm just gonna have it prompt me for it. So for the chassis number, let's go back to our list of expected devices, and we can just copy paste to tell this device what chassis number we want it to use. So here back in vManage under configuration and devices, here I have my WAN list, and this is our vEdge Cloud device right here. So I'm just gonna copy paste that chassis number and go back to the CLI. So here at the CLI, I'll right click and paste, and now it's asking for the token, which effectively is like a one-time password. So we'll go back and get that right out of vManage as well. So here in vManage, here is the token. So I will go ahead and copy the whole thing, and then we'll go paste it in. So I'll right click, paste, press enter, and I think we are almost ready to go. Let's do a show interface description. So at the moment on this virtual appliance, it's expecting gig zero zero to be up and also be a DHCP client. I don't have this plugged in yet. So here's what I'm hoping will happen as a result. We'll plug in gigabit ethernet zero zero to the network. It'll get an IP address via DHCP. It'll also be assigned a DNS server that it can use for name resolution. It'll try to resolve ztp.viptela.com. I have trained my local router, acting as the DNS server, by the way, to go ahead and resolve that to our vBond, which should cause the vEdge to check with vBond and then build additional connections to our vManage and also to our vSmart. That's what I'm expecting to happen. <laughs> so all we need to do is plug in that interface and take a look. All right, so currently the interface is down. I'm gonna plug that in. Virtually, I'm plugging that in. All right, so it is plugged in and let's hit the up arrow key. And there we go, up, up, and hopefully I'll get an IP address. There we go, an IP address. Let's do a show control connections. Look at that, we have now, we have communicated to VBond. That's a good start. So it's talking to VBond, that's great. And what I'm hoping for is a little more connectivity. So there we go, there's vManage, came to the party. So now we have a session between this device and VBond. We also have another session between ourselves and vManage. And if we do a control connections again, we're gonna get an additional one, at least one more with vSmart. And in this environment, what I have set up is that not only is the management network expecting this edge device to connect, but once it connects, it's gonna rain down, vManage is gonna rain down configuration information on it, including interface addresses and other details. And once that's all in place, this device, this edge device will also have a connection with vSmart running OMP, the overlay management protocol to become a fully functional member of the SD-WAN network. All right, and <laughs> we're going backwards. You know, another command we can do while we're waiting for it to complete the onboarding is we can do a show control connections and we can do history. This is a good one. So this is showing us all the codes if we have certain messages for errors in our output. But if we take a look at down here, here it's showing the connections that we have built over time. So if we did that same command again and did a pipe and then said begin at peer, then we can just take a look at the history of connections here. So we have some vBond and vManage connections that have been built. We can also look over here. We had a couple that were torn down. That's super fine. And what I'm expecting to have happen eventually is I'm expecting some vSmart. Ah, there we go. All right. So and here we have vSmart as well. And check it out. We even have a new name. <laughs> hey, buddy, how'd you get a new name? The answer is it got pushed down. Once I got onboarded, built my connections, vManage pushed down my new connection. And if we do a show OMP route, and press enter, uh, let me tab that out. So I'll do a show OMP route pipe and we'll format that tabular. There we go. So all these routes that were learned via OMP and let's do a show control connections. 
all of those OMP routes are being learned by this edge device via vSmart from vSmart. So OMP overlay management protocol, think of it like a routing protocol that's used between vSmart and the edge devices. And the reason it's called overlay management protocol is because we have the network, like maybe we have biz internet or MPLS or other transports in place that's actually physically moving the traffic for the data plane. However, on top of that, we're overlaying the IPsec tunnels between the sites. And that's why it's referred to as an overlay network. And the protocol that's used between vSmart and the edges that trains those edge devices regarding, okay, you can reach this peer at this IP address, and here's the keys, and here's the ports. That's why it's called an overlay management protocol, because it's communicating the overlay information that we're going to use for IPsec as we communicate between sites. So as a result of our time together in this video, we now know that when a new edge device comes in, it checks in with some flavor of vBond, who then educates that device on who to connect to regarding vManage for configurations and who to connect to for vSmart. And then the edge device connects to those devices and the party is on. Now, one of the really cool features is that we just took an edge device that really didn't have any configuration other than it had a root certificate installed and we changed the organization name. Everything else was like default, but at the end, it got a full config. <laughs> how, how is that possible? That's possible through the use of templates and we configure templates inside vManage. And vManage is actually the database that holds all the information about the configurations and allows us to automate the configuration of our vEdge devices. So in the next video, I'd like to give you a little peek at the world of vManage it's like the central management station for SD-WAN infrastructure. So I look forward to seeing you in that video soon. Meanwhile, have a great day and happy studies.